Every three years, an ancient ritual takes place here. The Sonar Feed is filmed live each week at the Berliner Pub in beautiful downtown Renfin. As a live broadcast, the Sonar Feed is uncensored and may not be suitable for all audiences. Hello, and welcome right. to our live show. We are here at the hey, Berliner everybody. Pub in beautiful downtown Renton, just like the... Uh, Entry say there. Um, as you can probably see, we do have uh, a special guest on um, on the Skype video here. He's a little broken up, but he'll be coming in a little bit clearer here soon. Uh, this would be the talent, Aaron Riley, calling Hello, in Aaron. from Canada. Canada, Canada, Canada. Canada. Aaron, go ahead and say hi for us. <laughs> this, I don't think this is. Uh, I'm monitoring. Oh, I'm just waiting for Hello, one audio here. Love <laughs> oh, beautiful. That's what we love to hear. We love to hear your Calgary voice. Everybody's fine. Oh, look at that with the bourbon even. Here we go. Cheers. 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 So. So, Aaron, we are having a little bit of technical difficulty listening to you, but um, we are going to do our best. Um, apparently, the internet in uh, Canada is about to suck. So. Um, oh. Yep, yeah, we got him. It's just uh, he's having he's breaking up. Yeah, so. he, yeah, we, we have him. I'm I just told making you. sure. <laughs> we have Aaron. He's he's just a little broken up. The talent so, is with us. The talent. I now I us. am back here. The pipe fitter is plugged in live, and I can hear everything. So everybody's live. Everybody's here. We got it. We got it going. We actually have it working. And, I I can actually see Aaron moving. Yep. And uh, hopefully, if you guys can see this, we actually have uh, some really new banners up on the talk here. And, uh, right. It, um, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. And, and you'll notice tonight's theme is cocks and prostates. It's cocks and prostates all night long, <laughs> uh, at least for an hour from the Berliner, as long as we can keep it up. Well, uh, what do you mean keep it up? I can keep it up just fine, <laughs> sir. Um, now, the reason why we're talking about cocks and prostates is because we're a bunch of cocks, and uh, we're coming up on Movember. And uh, as we're going into the Movember month, um, Aaron Riley there, he's actually going to go ahead and grow his porn stash. Um, I will uh, be going shaving every day um, and bringing it straight down to the stash. Aren't you excited about this, Aaron? I am. I am, actually. And you know, technically what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to shave the day before. I think we, I'm, I'm getting a head that, start. Right? We're supposed to go in totally oh, clean We're, we're going to start this clean shaving, but check out Burt Reynolds over here. Aaron can't week. see me, but... I know. Oh, you... I can see you. No, I just brought it up on my iPad. How do you like that? <laughs> How do you like that? It is <laughs> awfully awesome. I, I'm keeping it forever, I uh, think. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. God, I can't believe technology. I can't believe we actually got this shit working. That's right. <laughs> Take a couple beers. That's all it took. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's only taken six weeks and a lot of heartache to get to this point. Yeah, that we can actually broadcast from two separate countries exactly. all at the same time. So sorry, we had a slow running roll into this. So we're all kind of catching our feet. We're all kind of surprised that Skype actually worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so now we're oh, uh, we're here uh, in uh, sonar feed number fifteen. Fourteen. Is it fourteen? Fourteen. Oh, good. I thought. Well, I think it's fourteen. Or what? Uh, doesn't really matter at this point. Isn't it fourteen? All I know is uh, I wish the the talent would just speak up. The talent is speaking up. He's he's drinking his bourbon. I know. He's looking quite sexy in his standalone pose. Anyway, chicka chicka. So we do have a lot of stuff to talk about this week. Um, we had two Sounders games to talk about. So when we go into the weekend review, we actually have that. Right. So, um, as you guys know, my name's Lee Rail on Twitter. I am with Adam C. Smith. Adam and, Lee Rail. Um, the gentleman on the Skype window here is Sonar Riley. He is uh, the talent. The talent. And, and the namesake for which Sonar Feed comes from. He's somewhere in Calgary. We don't give away exact positions, sir. Parts unknown, sorry. Parts unknown. He's in the parts unknown. Canadia is all we're going to go into. And his audio uh, will blip in every once in a while. That'll be him. That will be him, and that's because he's in Calgary. <laughs> I mean, Canada. Yes, Canadia. <laughs> um, so, uh, so what's going on in your world this week, Aaron? I... Yeah? In my world. My world's all about airports, airplanes, nice. and hotels. The fine nice, nice. I go that's... That sounded wonderful. None of our guests heard that. <laughs> Has anyone pissed you off uh, on your trips yet? Yeah. It, 
is okay. no. no. Is Canadian TSA better than I, the United States TSA? No. I almost didn't get into country. <laughs> There's a surprise. Surprise, yes. <laughs> Shit, you almost got kicked out of the country last time I flew with you. <laughs> That's a that I would have Twittered out. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, are you going to be in town next week with us? Are you going to be live with us next week? On Monday. Yes, I will be. I will be there. Great. Good. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you sit outside, I, Skype in. Yeah. <laughs> you can sit on the other. You can that sit on the other good. side of the yes. sign. Uh. Although I will not be here the following. I will be far away in the Asian well, that's country. That's right. Do you have better internet there? Uh, no. It might be only audio then. There are little boys though. Oh, all right. Well, maybe oh. maybe you should go in his stead. <laughs> maybe I should. I won't tell him which country until he's actually there. Are you going to my suitcase? <laughs> yes, I'm going to go in your place. Um, so, Adam, what's going on in your world now that we know that? I, now that we know that um, Aaron's in Canada. Well, um, all my technology's working. I'm happy as a poop lark, except for my service engines uh, like came on. Tonight, so I got a little bit of stress going there, but uh, I'm uh, going. You know, the most important thing is the Sounders have been doing well. Oh, the Sounders, uh, the Sounders are doing <laughs> so well. So I'm happy. We're actually going to get into that in a minute here. Uh, me, all I've got going on, uh, much like uh, Aaron's travel schedule, I am uh, working like a dog. Working like a dog. Um, unfortunately, um, I I have uh, had the unfortunate pleasure of having to. Um, Deal with cocks and prostates? Uh, deal with, oh my god, if you only knew. <laughs> if you only knew. We're, um, uh, I think you, we're, we're trying to check out who's in the chat room. We're trying to check out who's in the chat room, but we're having some problems here. <laughs> um, I can tell you that the video looks really good. The video looks really good. Um, it does. Uh, Aaron. So we have nobody in the chat no, room. Yeah, so it doesn't matter really. <laughs> Can you blast this out again just so everybody's yeah, here? Yeah, We are that. recording this, so we'll be up later. Um, <laughs> God bless America. All this work, and so, no one gets to hear the brilliance. So no one gets to hear us. <laughs> um, anyway, so back to my week. It's been hectic with work. Um, it's review time. Oh, so, so last week, everybody was working on getting their reviews done, and now I have the pleasure of going through and um, grading the reviews, so it were, for 15 of my direct reports. It's wonderful, wonderful. Fun. Check by check, box by box. Something like that. All right. Anyway, so I want to go ahead and give out a couple shout-outs here. As everybody knows... Um, we're brilliant uh, people. We love hanging out with other people. We enjoy talking about soccer. And to do that, we have a, a, another group of people that we hang out with, the Rats. Yes. R-A-T-S-S -S on the Twitter. Um, that's the hashtag. We also have rats.org, R-A-T-S-S dot O-R-G. Um, this is a great place to you know commune and get together, find out what the Rats are doing, um, where they're going, find out where their international travels are going. In fact, you know what? I bet you we'll get a picture of Aaron with a scarf in Canada this week. I will take that. I'll take that, too. I um, also want to give a big uh, shout out to David Thorson, David Thorson Studios, big man, big man on campus. He's, he's always why we're lit up. up. He's making sure we're all lit up all the time. He's not here in studio with us this week, but he normally is. Um, if he were in charge of Aaron's, the way Aaron looks right now to everybody, it would not be looked like that. No, no. If he had anything to say about it, he'd be like, I, I'm blaming, no. I'm blaming this view right here on Canadian. Yeah, I think it's Canadian. They, they don't want it. Uh, I don't know what it is. I, I, he looks kind of like, um, like a, a modernist painting. He kind of does. Hey. Did you say something, Aaron? I think I heard fuck. I think I heard fuck too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there he is. He's coming back in. I hear the background. Good there enough. We go. Good, Good enough. enough. Good enough. You're still a sexy man to us. We still love you. We're just excited that this is actually working. Well, to some degree. Yeah, to um, some degree. <laughs> to to a, to a so, minute, uh, to moderate degree. Yeah, so to the moderate degree. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to, uh, apparently this week, um, Adam here found uh, that there's a new group of Sounder supporters in the Bay Area. Yes. Um, so why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about that, Adam. Well, um, the proprietor of the Berliner uh, went on down uh, to California on a little vacation, and he walked into a pub, and lo and behold, he walks in and sees uh, all these people wearing rape green, and he literally stopped, and he said the first thing he thought of was us. Like, well, he saw him, and he's like, I thought of Sonar Feed. And it turns out they're the Bay Area Sounder supporters. And I'm gonna tweet out links on Facebook and Twitter later. Um, but uh, that's the big shout out is to them, uh, particularly Brian. 
Okay. Um, he, he's the connection. And in, in this picture that he took when he was down there, I actually recognized one of the people. Yeah. yeah. And we can't rem- we can't remember if we recognized them from when we went to I, San Jose. I think it was I think it was from that 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 Black Raven place we went to in San. Jose. Yeah, it might have been when we were down in San Jose. But I recognized one of them. But you know, it's amazing to think all the way down there and they, they you know to walk into a pub yeah. and just have five, six, seven people wearing rave green. And no, it we're, was we're unplanned. Fucking, we're worldwide, man. We're worldwide. Worldwide. We are bigger. worldwide. We're seeing it right there. A scarf on. We're doing international. Hey, I, right I just noticed Aaron's got his Bill Murray shirt on. And his uh, and his connection got better because he moved for a second. He did. You, apparently you got a little closer to the antenna for a second there. Are you on Rogers up there? <laughs> or are you on Wi-Fi? What's going on? He's on Wi-Fi. Anyway. Yeah. So anyway, one Big last... shout out to Brian from the Bay Area, Bay Area Sounder supporters and all those guys and we hope to um, interact with them more in the future. We hope so. Um, they are working on their uh, their subgroup stuff with uh, ECS. ECS. So yeah, good yeah, luck to, to, to them on that. To officialize it. Good luck to them on that. Um, so sonarcast.com is where you can find us. You can find all the updates on the site. You can find all the updates on Aaron as he's nodding off at the table. He's falling asleep, <laughs> saying <laughs> prayers. You can you can follow all the stuff on Adam the Car Critic. Adam there's a new the Adam Car Critic. There's a new Adam the Car Critic number nine. Number nine. Talk about like the kick-ass VW. Hot rod VW. And if you don't know what a wing window is, you can learn what it is. So that was a very special night right after you did that episode. Uh, yes. Um, uh, I actually cut that one short because I looked over my shoulder and saw there's, a, there's certain, a large uh, Austrian sounder goalkeeper <laughs> six foot six. That's right. I remember that. that was I awesome. thought the Giants would take coming back down out of the hills to take over. That's right. Well, they would. Anyway, they would. Except he had gloves. <laughs> if they had, they wanted to. They would. Have. We also have some video game stuff on there, and of course, Adam and I are both blogging about music on a somewhat regular basis nowadays. Wait till the season is over. You're going to get so much music, you're going to so, hate us. So, uh, Aaron, hang in there tight. We're going to go ahead and run the weekend review spot. So, bear with us. And uh, we'll be right back. Nice. All right, all you. All righty. Well, we're back, and that was a hell of a commercial break. It was a hell of a little break done wow. by Brasbit the genius. That was Brasbit uh, the genius. I don't know if we should call him a genius or a wizard, but uh, I don't we, want to call him a wizard. Jen might get a little pissed off. Oh, that's true. They they might fight over that one. Oh, it could. But it would be a good battle. It would be. I think she. I think she. <laughs> I think she'd take his staff out. <laughs> staffless. <laughs> he would totally be staffless. Um, so we we actually have a week in review, and uh, it'll be our last regular second to pent ultimate uh, season review because yep. we have a Galaxy game. We have one, we have one more regular season right. game left. The um, last home game was played this week. So before we talk about Sounders, because okay. we have we have we have we have goods and bads with the Sounders week. Yes. So yes. let's let's go ahead and talk about the men's national team. All right. The men's national team came in uh, Kansas City, beautiful stadium which we were at this summer. Oh, no doubt, it's the best thing about this city. <laughs> it's the only thing it's about the only this. Thing well, about they have, this. we had some. Yes. Oh, he piped. I heard his voice. I heard his voice too. God, is that you? <gasps> yes, it is. The barbecue. Yes, the barbecue is amazing. It, the, you, we're, he filled in the amazing part. He knew that he was going to say amazing. I did. Good, good. That's great. That's great. <laughs> God damn technology. The fucking technology. We oh. just need a little more bandwidth on the, on yeah. the Canadian side, and yeah. we, this would be rocking. But anyway. Yeah. Um, okay, the barbecue, it's fair. Barbecue's good. Barbecue is good. Uh, stadium, amazing. Stadium was And there's a, uh, a, a couple teams playing there this week. There was a couple teams. Uh, United States versus Guatemala. Yes. Um, and uh, it was the uh, last game of the group. Guatemala is no slouch either. No, Guatemala's not a slouch right. team. Um, in fact, uh, they're, they're a great team that I, I'm actually surprised with the end result, which ended up being a uh, um, 3-1 final. Right. Clint Dempsey with a hat trick or with uh, with a brace. With a brace. And uh, Carlos Bocanegra, I believe, scored the uh, the uh, second goal. Yes. Or was the first goal. Dempsey scored two more. Yes. Um, Eddie Johnson, our boom boom Eddie Johnson, um, actually played full ninety minutes, I believe. Full ninety for the second week, for, for the, the second game second, in a row. Second U.S. game in a row. Within how was it three or four days? Two like three days off, right? Uh there was it just Friday, Saturday, not Sunday. many. So yeah, three days off in between. And it back was a Tuesday in. game. Ninety and ninety for 90 him. Ninety and ninety for him. Uh, two goals and an assist on the trip. Yep. Um, it was so a pretty amazing run for him. Uh, he, I think, yeah, he's. He, I think people are very aware of him. And future teams playing the U.S. men's national team, he will be on the radar. Yeah. So boom, 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 boom. We had some predictions for that, didn't we? We did. We did. Um, Aaron, do you remember what your score was? Well, let me remind you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Since, uh, since, since we're not getting you in right now, it's, uh, <laughs> you actually predicted a 2-0 score line. Oh, there you are. You're oh, back. Oh, say something. What say was your score? <laughs> it was, I don't know. 
I can't tell if I'm back or not. You are. This is awful. It's, it's, if, if you had a good... I feel like hanging up. If you had a good feed, anything. it'd be perfect. Yeah, well, and, we can, and hear, they you can hear you right now. So the, you like the time you have, we just need to bitch about technology. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we can actually hear you now. So yeah. you actually had a 2-0 score line. Yeah, you predicted 2-0. Not a bad one. Um, Adam had 2-1, and I had 1-1. One, one, so right. we were all wrong. I just remember last week, you, you like for most of uh, all most matches, you were just a little bit on the conservative side, and also the American, you're like 1-1. Yeah, we'll get into that in a second. <laughs> yes, we will. We'll get into that in a second. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about Sounders. So that was great for Eddie Johnson. Yes. Um, great for the men's national team qualifier for the hex, hexagonal. Yes. Um, so we're going to be moving going on. that. That goes starts in... February, I think. Which gives us a reprieve from our wallets for, for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. With all, but go ahead. Sheesh. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> all right. So anyway, um, Sounders have made it into the playoffs, but we did have two games this week. The first game we yes. had was actually against Real Salt Lake. Shit, Real against, Salt Lake. And uh, it was actually Real Salt Lake versus Salazar versus the Sounders. Yeah. Um, uh, I, Siggy Smith actually ended up getting a $2,000 fine and a one-game suspension. Pocket change to anybody. But, no, just kidding. <laughs> pocket change to anyone. But uh, the good news is, is that uh, there was no score. There was no score. It was a zero-zero game. That's right. And, and that's it's really good because I predicted a three a three to zero <laughs> loss. Um, you predicted an absolute shellacking. I did. An equal eleven an eleven versus versus. You predicted a three nothing blowout at home against the mighty Sounders. I did. But now I don't, and you know what? I don't remember I, I, it turning out quite that way. No. <laughs> There's the rage quit. And the rage quit. We're going to wait for him to call back. Lee and I can carry it. Get on our backs, guys. We'll carry it across the Hopefully finish line. Hopefully Aaron, Aaron will call back in here in a yeah, second. Yeah, we, we actually don't know we hung up. That could have just been the technology. It's probably it the technology. Been. Hopefully. So so anyway. Aaron, if, I know, if there's anything I know about Aaron, yeah. never say die. He won't say die. Never so, say die. So anyway, so Real Salt Lake came in. Um, both Aaron and Adam had 2-0 Sounders winning, so we were, yes. once more, everybody was wrong. Everyone was wrong. Um, everybody was wrong to the extreme. I won one extreme, and I'm happy. I am happy my prediction didn't come true. Oh, me too. But, but the, the, I mean, with all the things that happened, the, the potential for your, yeah. your, situ, your, your it scenario. It could have been very, very well. Right. After, but, after the second yellow card on Zach Scott in the 20, 30, 20, 30, 27th minute, somewhere right. on our, Basically 20 um, minutes, 25 some minutes in. Yeah, basically it was it was it was a race to lose. I mean, I mean both teams were. I mean, the second half of the the second half of the game, you would not have thought that. Uh, no way. That. Uh, hey, Danicus. Hey, Ports Cup Timber. Sorry, we're. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Um, this is this is a highly experimental show, and it's successful in only that we have made Skype work. We we have. We've piped in someone from an international country, albeit. Terribly, but it's not our technology that the problem this time. It's, it's actually, actually the wireless in whatever hotel bar somebody's in. Aaron's hotel is terrible, or it's my it stash. Is your stash. <laughs> I think it might be your stash. But this should this should actually help Wi-Fi. It should beam it. it just, this I cut this to three millimeters, which is what Wi-Fi runs on for the wavelength. Oh jeez. Here we go. Oh, hey. We knew we'd call back. We never gave up. We never you gave up. You sexy for a animal. Second. We hey. never gave up. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Say hi for us. We knew you didn't rage quit. Yes. Oh, yes. I didn't hear that. Yes. 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 Thank you. It's, Man, it's actually you perfect. Well, then he then he then, then, <laughs> then, he, then he takes a swig and then he's like, can, "Yes, can, we can, can hear, you. hear you." Now? Yeah, how does her nerve? Yeah. All right. Good. I'm glad you can hear me better now. Oh, oh dude, awesome. Dude, dude yeah, we can see your face. Your your lips are moving, and we can hear you. Yeah. Hey, uh, you guys in the chat room, can you go ahead and give us a? Can you hear uh, Aaron just fine? Oh, oh, go back to the chat and hit the hit the X, and it'll actually show the typing going on. Okay. There we go. Oh, hey! Holy shit, Skype works. <laughs> yes, we are experiment. Yay! Yay! Awesome. All right. Awesome. You All know right. what? And yay to everyone that's put up with our shit for the last 15 weeks. We got, we, weeks. Got, we got this shit down. We now. got it down now. There's gonna be calls a plenty all over the world we to everybody. <laughs> My mom is gonna be on the show next My week. My mom's on the show too. <laughs> it's, it's, is it fair to say we might have a special guest now? Absolutely. I think, I think as long as he has, he's not in Canada no, on some shitty yeah, internet. As long as he has internet. <laughs> uh, we have a controversial guest that everyone has heard, probably, I'd, <laughs> I'd say everyone has heard of. And you could tell those weren't gang signs that Aaron was flashing. No, he, was, he, he said oh. we're both number one. Yeah, I know. But uh, we won't tease one. it too much. But next week, now that we have this figured out, we are going to have someone on 
We are. Uh, it, Let's it, just leave it there. We'll, we'll, we'll promote it later on this controversy week. Controversy, and there will be controversy plenty during and after. During and after. And there's already controversy. So let's go back. Let's finish up the Real Salt Lake game. Yeah. Um, so really it was Salazar versus Salt Lake versus us. Right. Um, Salt Lake and uh, the Sounders both came out losing. Yeah. <laughs> and, but, but one lost worse in my mind. I mean, yeah. Real Salt Lake to come in and have the opportunity of the firepower to go a man up. Yeah. And and, and they, they, I swear to God. I felt like we won. The second half of that game, and I, I, I wasn't at the game. I actually had to go to work for a little bit. Oh, that and, would explain why you feel differently. Well, no. Shut up. <laughs> you were in bed with a dog. What are you talking about? You weren't working. Yes, you're correct. I was in bed with a dog all night. And don't talk about my wife like yes. that, you ass. I wasn't I talking didn't, about I your did, wife. I I would, neither of us made that oh. joke, sir. <laughs> You made the joke. You made the joke. God, I can hear him crystal clear. I know, this is working. Wow. Dude, this actually works. All right, this so, okay, hold on. Here's my thought, though. Sleeping with the mind. dogs, you wake right. up with the fleas. No, keep going. Don't don't you feel that, granted, when, every, when you go down to man, if your team is playing together, you're going to come back, you're going to make some great strides, but don't you feel like we kind of got the arm yeah. lunch? Yeah. Yeah. Off our back? being down a man and ending that game 0-0. We were the more oh, yeah. aggressive team, and we could have won that game if a ball had bounced a hair differently yeah. three or four the last, times. The last 30 minutes of that game was all Sounders. It was, it was, it was. Yeah. Well, except for the last four minutes. The last four minutes of overtime, of extra sure. out yeah. of time. When, when it was supposed to be three minutes, and he gave us I don't know why he would have done that, that but yes. No, that. I agree with you. Um, but yes, we played the better, t we played like the better team. During the second half, yes. um, once we got got over the whole red card thing, it took about five minutes. We were lucky enough that um, Adam Johansson that was actually awake and alive because he actually made two really big saves. In, uh, and he's taken at, a lot of heat from at least me on this show. Well, yes, you don't like him. Well, you no, like I, his hair. I no, like his hair. I like that I like he's Swedish, hair. and I like that when he gets into the final third, he <laughs> plays like he plays in the final third. But he, uh, when he plays his normal position on defense, Sometimes he forgets that's his job, is to play defense. You guys. That's all. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. All right, so. And can we talk about Brad Evans for a minute here? I'm talking about, and we'll go into it again over the yeah. next game, but can we tell, talk about how amazing he was uh, as a right back and a center yeah, back everywhere. on that game? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. he actually played a really solid game um, in the back. He, he was, he did not make any, um, any snafus. Hurtado yeah, he didn't like make those. any snafus. Uh, he, let's um, not talk ill of Hurtado in the no. middle of talking great of Evans. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because I know. <laughs> it's like wiping your ass with a dirty you, piece of toilet it's paper. It's like wiping your ass with a wagon wheel. I know. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, so Brad Evans. Sorry, kids. Um, he actually played the last two games. I want to go ahead and say it. Everybody who knows me knows I do not like Brad Evans. I mean, I think he's a funny Twitter personality. As a player. I Actually, I think he's a or great. A guy. I think he's a great sounder. Is this the Eddie Johnson dynamic that maybe Aaron had at the beginning of the year? No, before? I've always felt it's this different. way. About okay, it. is this no, Chuck? No. And I want to make, it, felt this way I make it clear to the kids yes, at home. Brad is a great sounder. He is a great. Um, he's a great uh, Twitter personality. He's a great asset to the team. He is not necessarily my most favorite player, especially when he makes right. really crappy passes. Understood. Understood. <laughs> yeah. Understood. Um, I will say, so let's go ahead and finish it. Yes, in the back, he played excellent. Both games he's played this year on the back line, he's had really successful games. Um, in fact, the second half of the season, go ahead, we are recording this for posterity, for prostates too. For Cox and prostates. For Cox and prostates. We can probably Brad take Evans that off right now. Brad had a hell of a second half of the season. Yeah, can we take that off now? Yeah, and while we're doing that, uh, while, while, while Lee's doing that part, well, it's in, uh, whoa. Okay. Um, I, no, I just want to say that what a pleasure it is actually, uh, you know, for Aaron to have moved to a, a different network. He's got on here. It actually, this is actually working really well. Yeah. He's clear as a bell. The video could be 30% better, but you could act, you could make him out. We can hear everything he's saying. It, I'm super happy that we have nailed this finally. It took the sonar fee, all us guys, all this time, and it's working, and I'm really happy with that. So. Uh, yeah. uh, so and dude, if you could if you could hear yourself so here, you would be even. You look and sound good, and it's good to have you here. It is. It's it's much much better. Good, good. So let's talk about this wonderful, joyous, very dry game we saw oh on Sunday, God. where it did it didn't rain no, at it, all. 
Well, I, don't, I, just, I don't have a voice because I have a cold because of the rain. Well, to, to, as an as an adjoinder to the to the Real Salt Lake match, I blew this vocal cord, re- yelling at Salazar for 45 minutes, and, and so uh, you know to move from that into this game, it, I, I was dry as a bone. I don't know what you guys are talking about. So let's let's talk quickly about the about the end result here. So uh, if I remember correctly, it was three uh, one. It was three one. It was, which, which no, you I didn't. predicted. No, no, no you no, predicted no, no. tacos and haircuts. You predicted half of that. Yeah. Hey, I got a haircut and I got tacos last no. week. So yeah, but I you win. paid no. for one of them. Actually, you know what? Actually, in a sneaky way, if he, if he's gonna lawyer us, lawyering wise, he he actually lawyered us because he said he because like I I could have went under his. I had tacos last week too, so I was right too. See, hello, hello. lawyer, you both, you, you lawyer, both suck. you both suck. Court. Actually, actually I win. had it not been a, a, a non-carded PK in the box, which I'm going to get into this in a second because I'm going to go on a complete fucking diatribe. I can't um, wait. I, it will be. Let's talk about the game. Dallas come. No, let's talk. Wait. Can we, can, can we do something else real quick? Can we talk about Felix Baumgartner oh. real quick? <laughs> that, <laughs> wait, hang on. I'm going to talk about that in a second. I'm um, in my diatribe about Brad how. Brad Evans trends, trends over Felix Baumgartner any day. Brad Evans comes in, scores a PK. <laughs> Apparently, Brad Evans is the only sounder that can score a PK, um, except for Zach Scott, but he was suspended. Yeah, well, okay, yeah. <laughs> is that what your diatribe is going to come into? No. Can, oh, okay, because I was like, yeah, you know, yeah, can we get some guys that can, I mean, Brad Evans, whether you like him or not, he nailed the fucking penalty kick. He did. And He's either five for five or six for six. And I have to Nine say, I like confidence in my team, and I love my team, but when we take PKs, it's kind of an ass clencher. <laughs> it can be, yeah. <laughs> um, yes. But yes. Uh, so the uh, tacos and haircuts. I predicted two to one. I predicted two to one. And and tacos and haircuts. So, tacos and haircuts, so which is a what? clean sheet, and we score three. We we. All... Now, is there a coincidence that Hurtado was in the back line and they scored a goal, and Evans was not in the back line and they didn't score a goal? Just out of curiosity. Sure. Well, we could throw that out in a bunch of what ifs on alternate timelines, but we'd have to watch the Roger Levesque video to find out. Yes. Whether. <laughs> you know, well, let's go, let's go do we, that real quick. We don't have a queued up. Quit that. We totally would. <laughs> I know. So we anyway, <laughs> I want to go into my diatribe right now. Diatribe it. Okay. As a U.S. as a United States Soccer Federation referee. I have been instructed that there is no way that you can give up a penalty kick in the box without issuing a yellow card or a red card. Or a red. So I don't understand how the hell all these MLS refs can get away with pointing to the spot and not issuing a card. I mean, if you're going to point to the spot, you have to issue a card. It's it's in the law. It's in the law of soccer. Do you- are you asking this rhetorically, or do you really want me to answer this? Well, question? no. This is this is this is by the law. You cannot. There's no PK that you can give. See, someone just said you can give a PK without carding, but in the box. In the box. You Danicus. cannot give. Well, how do you give a PK exactly. if you're not in the box? You right. there's there is no PK that you can give without issuing a card. Danicus is taking exception sure? with you in the chat room. Danicus is taking exception with you. Now, Danicus is, an, uh, is a ref, so he, well, he should Can you give I'm a penalty kick ref. without carding someone? There's only one situation that I can think of. What is it? It would be if it was a if it was a technical foul, like if it was not, not if it was like a, off the ball. Okay. But this is against the ball. So even in those particular cases, I can't see. Right. So unless Danicus can give me an instance where, and out of the 17 laws of soccer, that you can give a PK and not issue a card, I'm not buying it. And no matter what, I'm going to have to side with Danicus because I'd hate to lose our one viewer. <laughs> but, yeah, well, Danicus, you're in the chat room. Type it out while, while well, we move forward. Tell us why that well, can happen. Problem. I'll give you the complete opposite of this. Okay. Refs are afraid to give give PKs in the box because they don't want to issue a card. They don't want to. Well, they don't want to give either. But so it seems like they split the difference. They either give a card and no penalty kick, or they give a penalty kick and no card. So I mean, that's American soccer for you. Everybody wins. I mean, as a grade seven referee, I'm still trying to figure this one out. I don't get it. I, I, Even though that was our, I mean, we got the penalty. No, kick. I don't care. Yeah, I, no, no, you got to get it right every huge, time. It's a huge issue because we I get screwed by it probably more than we get benefited. I, I still haven't seen. I, I, as, uh, hopefully, Danicus is pulling out the law yeah, book right now. Yeah, Danicus, uh, if you're checking up the, the rule book, uh, let us know. We're we're watching the, this one specifically. We don't always have time to look straight at the chat room during this, but right now, I'm I'm waiting are, with bated breath are. to find out what the Me answer too. to this is. Actually, I am too. 
Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll wrap up this week with... Uh, um, there was one other bad thing that happened this weekend. Yes, Aaron is fine. He would like another bourbon, though. <laughs> Almost. It'll be, it'll Can everybody be, it'll be tweet out yes. for at Sonar Riley? And what's the hotel you're at, Aaron? No, just kidding. And tell him to bring another damn bourbon. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the All right. courtyard. Just okay. I wish I was there with you, brother. So there's one other thing that we have to talk about this week. It was unfortunate that um, George the Cup is no longer in Seattle. Yes. Um, Did George? you? Yeah. No, there are, two, there are two more things I want to talk about. That's one, okay. and I have one. Uh, the George of the Cup thing, um, I, the only thing I have to say about it is it sucked to find out when we found out because we we were at on our way to the match, which mattered, and going to the game and finding out kind of right before game time or in the middle, like right halfway through the first half roughly. Yeah, it was, it was a little um, bit into the first half. But I also want to say I got the ECS email that goes out to all the ECS fans, and I have to say the magnet, magnanimity that our – that that we gave uh, to them, uh, it was so nice. I mean, if you have to lose, we, we, it wasn't like we handed it over with a hand grenade in it. And we're, <laughs> we, you know, we we plan on winning it back next year. And it was kind of. And, and, and I, did you guys read the email? I, I read the ECS email where he had to just. Not yet. No, I well, got can it. I, I read, if yeah. you guys read it, because it's actually a great little. The email just has the great story of him explaining handing the cup over, and he and he said he could remember last year being on the opposite side of. That where he had to look the person in the eyes and he's, he got to take the cup from the Portland Timbers fans, sure. you know, from the Timbers, and then all of a sudden he's giving it, he's handing it back, and he's remembering. He's like, I what my I, now I know what that guy felt like sure. last year, and it was, yeah. I mean, it was. It, so I want to say, you know, we did it with class and dignity, and that that is awesome for Cascadia. We lost. Sucks for the Sounders. Yes. Sucks for us. Hurts. Well, that's the way. This way it's going to happen. Right. Time. It's good. It's good. But the, read the email. It's a great little story for any of you out there that are watching. So. Do it. Good. What's your uh, topic there, uh, Smiley? Um, my topic is the Mario Martinez oh. tweet that is a, a non. It's a, it's a tweet that happened that's now no longer oh, there's there. There's screenshots of it. But oh, there's uh, screenshots. Well, Luckily, we have the, enough nerd sure. power in the world to, to capture shit like this. <laughs> but it, it was interesting because here's a guy who came in. He left. He left. He got traded during the Olympics from a team that was, you know, he was a good, good, good team. Has a, had a great Olympics. Came to us. Was here for a few weeks and went. Got called up twice. And he's only been here for a few weeks total. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll say two months to to have that frustration of the guy who just scored right. two goals. And he's having frustrations of he should be playing, in his mind, in his view, at a high level. And in this league, he should be at a high level. The problem is he hasn't played with right. the team yet. So I get his frustration, and I felt sure. his frustration. It was the wrong avenue and the wrong way to do it. But it, I get his frustration because I want to see him out there. I want to see him play week in, week out for the team. And maybe that doesn't happen until January, until uh, March of next year, where we can actually get him into the rotation. But I think he can be a huge asset to the team, and I want to see him be oh, here. Oh, yeah. I, I think so too, but I only, like I've said with Kufo and Lundberg and a bunch of other players. Are we talking about tweets or, or, or attitude or whatever? Attitude. Oh, okay, good. If you don't want to be here, get the fuck out. Yeah, please do. Do everyone well, a favor. I, I mean, but I don't think, but how much of that was his his tweet of his, of his I mean, even look at, look at, look at Eddie still. Like, Eddie still has moments where he goes off on this wild, weird ass, fucking stupid Yeah, Twitter if we're going to actually talk about this. If we're actually going to talk about, talk about this, no, I'd like to bring up one where he, he, he hammered a, 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 a someone I've met. Uh, and I know, and we're all followers of, and she said something in a way, and he came back in a, taking it the wrong way. He hammered her personally. You know, this is a professional athlete and someone who's got to do better when you're, you know people are watching. Like, we're not professional. We can drink beer. I can swear. We can have cocks and prostates on our stuff. That's what we do. We're having fun. But he has, you know, to come back against one person, uh, some poor person on Twitter, where he's like a very famous person, yeah, and to, and to, and to say something like he did. I don't know if you guys saw that back and forth. Yeah. Okay. No. It, it was harsh. It, how was it? Two nights ago, or was, uh, I, I want to say it was. It I don't. Was, it, was Sunday, it was Sunday days. night. Yeah, I don't want to name it was, names. It was Sunday night. But yes. I don't want to name names. It was but, after the. I'll yeah, but, but he, I mean... It he, was after the game. It was a couple hours after the game. He came back with a very focused, very harsh 
uh, a re, uh, answer to someone's sure. question, and it was, it was, it, you know, it was like I thought we, I thought he had learned his lesson. I thought we were over that. I thought we were done. The mistweet. The, I, I call it a mistweet when you fuck up. Sure. But that, that's what it seemed to me. So. So so back to Mario Martinez. Um, I I don't know, Aaron, if you've had a chance to read Sounder at Heart yet tonight. Okay. No, I've so apparently not, no. there was a uh, an article by one of the Sounder at Heart guys. I, I think it was probably Dave. Um, hang on a second, let me pull it up. While you're pulling it up, I'm yep. going to give the Danica, Danicus came back and said the card is only given if the foul was reckless or dangerous play or denial of the obvious scoring opportunity. Such as a handball in the box? Well, that, so, I mean, yeah, he gave you the rule and you called it back. Danicus, that, well, that we'll should have been a card way. then. Well, we'll put it this way. The, the Which denial. One? Wait, the, the one just, on, yeah, on just Sunday? the last game. Or where. The, where it wasn't a hand. Denial, that wasn't a hand denial of box. obvious scoring, scoring opportunity. opportunity. That one, yes. So I there was that, yes. It was so there was a, a denial. So almost every foul that you're going to give in the box was a denial of an obvious score, scoring There's opportunity. There's three things in the box. Reckless, denial <coughs> of the obvious scoring opportunity, or dangerous play. And reckless or dangerous is probably the that same thing, but... Now, is it fair to say there are only three, uh, three things in the box, depending on... on, on I've never had more than work. one, but... <laughs> Yeah, that, I, get, I, I, I get right. where you're going with that. Okay. I'm a big <laughs> you know, very thing. much on this. I'm, well, you yeah. know this guy. He was way beyond it before you even said it, probably. Yeah, I actually, yeah. um, <laughs> points I, of call. That's all. Aaron, I, think. I actually want to say something before we get off the air later today. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll have a uh, post. About something okay. about my truck and funny. Um, <laughs> oh, God, I want to hear it now. Um, Wait a minute. Is this, is this not? If this is about the chive night, this is not a fair game because I was drunk. Well, it has, and I don't remember. It actually anything. has nothing to do with the chive night. It happens to be with Oktoberfest. Uh, anyway, um, Siggy Schmidt says, uh, "Cherish Sounders, cherish Mario Martinez. Take blame for the misunderstanding." So yeah, I read, I read, yeah, this whole so story Jer from Sounder Heart. The, the leading man, Jeremiah O'Shan, has uh, posted up on Sounder Heart yes. um, to clarify some of the stuff that's going on. Uh, it's too bad that it's taken so long to clear the air, but I'm glad that they've gotten back to practice. We we figured out what the frustration lies, and hopefully, um, yeah, basically. Um, so, Let's just go ahead and throw it out there of a tweet of frustration or or not really understanding what's going on with his situation. So right, and yeah, so, fair enough. I mean, he's 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 going to start tomorrow. He'll play ninety tomorrow, yep. hopefully, or close I'll be to there. ninety tomorrow. He'll pro he'll probably I will I'll be watching. I think that, what time is the game? Seven o'clock our, our time. o'clock our time. Sweet. So I land in Detroit at like seven All their right. time or eight their time. So I should be to a place where I can right. watch that. Uh, is it on Fox? Yeah, I don't, they're all on Fox. Fox Soccer. Fox Soccer. Okay, great. So, anyways, or I can look, or I can stream it online. But uh, yeah, okay, sweet. So I'll be watching that tomorrow night. But I think he'll play tomorrow night. He'll start tomorrow night. And I know I'm getting ahead of to our it's look right. ahead. But I think he'll play. I think he'll play uh, Sunday too. And I think he'll feature very okay. heavily. I mean, on that's, that's fair. Yeah. I, I, I could also buy that. So. I have something uh, in inane to add since I didn't start because we started off on a hiccup a little sure. bit. Uh, there was just a lack of communication between Ziggy Schmidt and Mario, and that's my 80s reference for the night. Yes. For, it's a rat song from 1985. Go ahead. Yep. There you go. There you I'm go. in. All right. Now I can sleep well tonight. So we've talked about we've talked about Excellent. Aaron's travels. Um, Aaron, we know that uh, that you're going to be gone. Um, I'm thankful that we now have Skype working. Um, this is good. Yes. Um, we know what to do now. We, we have it down pat. Yeah, we yep. got it down. Um, good. This is good. Okay. You know, so, if all we need is more. Yeah. You need to look ahead for solid internet. But right now, like he's been since he switched. Yeah, since he switched, it's been. Dude, great. you're here. You're sitting right here. The the video is not that great, but the yeah. sound quality is awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, and that's going to be the one problem, guys. Is that it's going to be hard. Like when I'm in Singapore, it's going to be difficult. I won't have a chance to really scout out, and I might be somewhere in the middle of the day where I don't have well, a choice. Well, if you can't, you can't. Whorehouse. Um, yeah, whorehouses. Well, have, in, I've heard whorehouses US, have good Wi-Fi yeah. from Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to check out. Uh, when I'm in the U.S., though, I can at least use my LTE. Hopefully, if I'm in a city that has LTE, if not, my 3G is better than Wi-Fi. 3G, yeah, 3G will do the Skype. I've done it. I've done a 3G Skype in Eastern so. Washington, and I know it works. I mean, if it works in Eastern Washington, so, so in the red part of Eastern Washington, it'll work anyway. so let's um, let's let's fall back here. Um, uh, looking forward, I don't have the the introduction for looking forward because I I was being silly. Um, so Everyone anyway. watching pretend that this is the looking forward yeah. part. Hang on a second. Do -do 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 Do you mind controlling your stereo system at the preferred listening level? Do you mind controlling your stereo system at the preferred listening level?
All right, uh, and we're looking back. forward into the future. <laughs> All right, and we're back. <laughs> All right, so this week, uh, looking forward, we have uh, our last regular season game. Against someone I used to fear with all my heart now. It's a tough game, but it's not the, the most feared team in the league to me. Oh, yeah. Now, real quick, are we meeting on Sunday night at the Berliner Pub at 6 p.m. to watch you, all the You and games? I are. Last time I checked, Sparky here was out of town. Oh, I think, I, I think I'll be back by then. I'm going to be on the coast. Oh, Sparky. Oh, okay, be, gotcha. Okay. I'll be in Bermuda. I, will be, I land... <laughs> I land like two or three, so I'll be coming in hot. So, so basically what you're saying is you're having the taxi drop you off here and your wife pick you up? Well, uh, yeah, either that or you're driving me so, home. So, since since we're making travel <laughs> plans, I'll be coming in hot too, and I'll make it sooner or later, and I'll drive you home. You don't have to have your wife. I'll take... We'll get it figured there out. We'll leave awesome. all the names out of this. Your wife. Okay. Ports of call. My, my, ports my of wife. call. Your wife. Okay, okay. A wall of separation. <laughs> Gonzalez should likely be suspended for this game? For that... Oh, oh God. well, the, Danica says Gonzalez should likely be suspended. I think he's talking about... Uh, he's talking about uh, oh, Gonzalez oh, for the, oh, oh, right, oh, for the oh, Galaxy. Oh, 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 oh. Our Gonzalez. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like... No, we're talking... To yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, what's his name, uh, Gonzalez? What's his... The hell's his Le name? Are you talking about Leo or Ricardo? No, no. Fucking from uh, L.A. Oh, the L.A. player. Yeah, the big tall dude. He, I'm yeah, not afraid of him. Yeah, I'm not. Well, it doesn't matter. We play better against him when he's oh, not there. Yeah, exactly. If he's not there, I'll take it. Yeah, so... Um, well, when he when he came back from injury, he turned the yeah. whole team around. That was what they were missing. Well, so, it's great to hear I mean, that they're going to be missing him again. Gonzalez, Gonzalez plays a huge role, and if he's out for that game, that's great. But the, I think they're going to roll over uh, Vancouver. Uh, and then we're gonna have to. And then they're probably gonna. You know, it's gonna be. Anyway, I'm jumping ahead. Play nope, are jump ahead. Well, now so, that we well, can well, actually well. hear you, I like I, whatever you have to say. It's good to hear your voice. Yeah. Well, Go for it. Actually, now it's starting to get old. Yeah. <laughs> Go easy. Tread lightly. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Now he's faking that we can't so, hear him. So, we fell for that earlier. So LA is <laughs> playing Vancouver on in the playoffs. So. Last next either either Halloween right, so or the So let's after. get back. The next game that we have to worry about is Sunday. It's a six o'clock game. I believe it's a nationally televised game on ESPN. And if you're local, come on down to the Berliner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will be here at the Berliner Pub. Yes. We will be drinking. Um, if you come down, uh, we'll try to find you a uh, sounder shot or something. Oh. If it's your first time down here, we'll ensure that you have a good time. Yeah. Um, if, if we see new faces, we make sure you have a great time. And, and new faces ensure Sounders victories. Also, so come down here. Oh, it's gonna be two, two, two to one. Oh, two to one. He's already now, throwing out predictions. It's throwing out. Okay, so hang on a second. Now who's the, now? I'm assuming that Sounders victory two to one. Two to one to us because that means we get the second place in the right. Division. I, I, two I which does not help me uh, for playoff games. I'm probably gonna have to sell my four playoff tickets because I'm gonna be in Singapore. Well, I'll, may, I'll, I'll buy, we'll, we'll, um, dude, I have a, I, we'll talk about that after the show, later. Because so, oh, so, if you have to, that'll yeah. happen. Um, and Dennis might pick him up. Well, no, I get him before Dennis. Yeah, I think Oh, you didn't buy him? No, my goddamn. Never mind, we'll my, talk about my, that sound, later. My, my fake named Sounders Associates have, and have not replied to emails or calls for the last two weeks. Well, that's not good. Um, and I pay cash, good money, every year. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna be. I just sold him. <laughs> Where's the hangout? No, just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be two to nothing Sounders. Okay. Two nil Sounders. Straight up shutout. Spurning's too good. Um, I want to say two nil Sounders too. Really? That sounds Were too you good. thinking that? Were you? Cause no, I, I, I don't. I'm actually going to go two one with Aaron now. So you're, oh, so you're going to be a fatalist, and def God damn it. That means Adam, that means Adam's going to win because he's never right. <laughs> Actually, I've been right once. I've been right oh, once. once. Once out of once out of seventy four <laughs> times, I've been right thirty seven out of seventy four. I hope it's a shutout. I, I I think our defense deserves it. I think. <laughs> and there is was that you or him? That was me. Oh, uh, we just hung up on Aaron because Lee. Oh. <laughs> We finally get, awesome. uh, we, 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 we're so good at this now, we're getting the Skype calls working, we can afford to hang up on, on people and call them back. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aaron. Live on the show. I'm sorry. 
I'll do one more beat. I was like, dude, we might never Thank talk to him again for the rest of the night because of that. But I was still behind you. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. God, I love the rage hang up. <laughs> the rage hang up is when it's well placed and unexpected, people are like, wait, someone's missing. Uh, so, so basically, Danicus is, is in the opinion that um, that with Gonzalez out, they have nothing really to play for. Um, they're actually going to be, you know, yep. resting everybody. Resting people. There's, there's no need for them to go out and go out there and kill it. So we're either going to win 17 to two. <laughs> well, that's kind of game three, right? Because they could bring in some young guys that are itching for a, a, a spot on the team too, and some bright shining star comes in that we've never heard Last of. Last thing that was itching around like there Ochaba. was Jockage. Yeah, I know we, yeah. <laughs> True. I think our our lineup is going to be very. I don't think. Um, so. I don't think we're so going to have a strong is, lineup. I mean, it's quote a quote unquote strong lineup. I think we're so going to have a strong lineup. So is this where we? Is this where we see Mario Martinez in there? Thank you. Yeah, okay. Mario Martinez. What about Brad Evans? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brad Evans, I think, will be in there. Uh, actually, you know, I could. No, I can see Brad Evans not being in there, to be honest with you. But I can see your Freddies. I can see Eddie getting a night off. I can see Brad getting a night off, maybe for Age or for Knox. I can see Morrow, Morrow getting a lot night off. But I can see uh, I can see us doing a real strong back line. Well, I mean, a strong line, back line as we can do okay. at this point. Um, Ochava or Estrada with Freddie up top. We are talking, we are talking the LA game, right? Yeah, Galaxy, yeah. Yeah. I am. Yeah. No, I think tomorrow night is going to be really well, tomorrow, deep. Okay, deep so let's, let's. I mean, I think it's. Oh, oh, Chava, oh totally. Estrada, and we're going to win top, still. And it's not. So let's let's. Yeah, I think we're going to have Freddie or Eddie or some of those guys on the bench tomorrow night. But I think it's going to be a real, quote unquote, B lineup, which I still our love. Our B lineup could be. I think our yeah. B lineup could be a reg. It's, it's Columbus's better B lineup. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, pick another I, yeah. lineup. You know I mean? okay. I mean, that's so, what, that's what so. a lot of people I think don't understand about Seattle. They're casual fans of their other of other teams, and, the, sure. and the, they don't understand our B lineup is probably as good as the most A teams. So, like so actually, yes. Danicus actually has a really good point here, which is the the idea of if we can take third in the league, we actually have a shot at a CCL bid. Right. Um, we do. Yes, exactly. It, it is huge. It's huge. I mean, that win on Sunday so, is huge. So putting in a, putting in a B team for CCL. Um, which at home I, I see the B team against and it's against Marathon, right? Yeah. So we Isn't put in yeah. we put in Mario Martinez. We put in uh, I I say Brad plays, but um, but let's, let's just say, let's just say we, we rest Rosales. Let's say we rest um, um, Eddie Johnson sits because he's had some travel, but he's had. He's had. There's a big Zed uh, floating around in my head who we haven't seen in a little bit, uh, and I know he, I know he's he was he, hurt. He's been injured, but he was warming up the other night. Who knows? Maybe Zach will want to get some time tomorrow. Right. Maybe he comes out and gets to. Uh, I, I would. It. I would love to see. I hopefully. I haven't seen the. Uh, I have to check uh, Sander Hart, but uh, I don't know how, how if Zach Wani practiced today or uh, Iani. I don't know if Iani practiced today. I know that's. You know, but it would be nice because I, I don't want to have a tired line going back line going into the playoffs. No, I, I, and I, I for one, yes. I'd welcome Yanni back for any game this a, any sure. time. He's he's had sure. a really good year, I yes. think. Sure. Yes. So, so yeah. let's talk about marathon. Um, Aaron, give us your score. Wow, that's a that tough. That's tough. actually tough, man. I'm glad you um, asked him first because it is tough. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, so the first number that popped into my head was one nil. Which then it was immediately replaced by three to one. Uh, so three, two zero, huh? I will say three to one is a classic score so far this year in Concacaf at home for us. We went. Yeah, you know what though? Yeah, no, it can't be one nil. It's got to be. Uh, yeah, I think three to one because they're, they're going to get a penalty kick. Again, <laughs> yes. Sure. They're going to score that. True story. Again. Zach Scott actually, actually mentioned that in a tweet earlier today. I don't know if you guys saw the Zach Scott tweet, but he's like. Tomorrow's gonna be no, fun. You know, there's gonna be a penalty kick, a yellow card, and a red card given tomorrow in the in the match. Nice. There's something to that. If you look so, back at so Zach Scott, what yeah. do you have for the score, awesome. Adam? Um, I am gonna go with the three to one. Three to one. Okay. I'm gonna go with the three to one because we're at home. I'm gonna go with the three to one because uh, I think we're in decent form, and I don't think there's any way Marathon could plan for whoever Ziggy rolls out tomorrow. I just don't think uh, they. I mean, they can't. They, I mean, yeah. Ziggy's a genius. I'm gonna, He's going to match up well. I'm going to go with Aaron's initial gut score. I'm going to go with 1-0. Good enough. Um, hey, a win, as long as we're all, if any of us are right, I'm happy. Sure. Okay. Yes. Um, 
So I think we're okay. uh so so Danicus has Achoa Estrada, Zach Wani, Rose Kasky, Carrasco, Scott, Park, Hurtado, That's the Birch, reason to show Hanneman. up tomorrow. If, if if you can't get it up for CONCACAF, if That's... you can't get it up for the Sounders at home on a weeknight, it, come out and see Hanneman. I, I can't go. I would have been there, man. If I could have been there, I would have been there. I'm gonna be. I, I'm gonna drive as fast as I can from the airport to my hotel oh, to get fine. this game sorry. on. Then you so can't get it up. you know, you know, you know why I'm not going, right? Why? Because I can get you a ticket. No, this has nothing to do with that. You're gonna go I'm get actually, your prostate checked. Yes. Oh. Um, actually, I'm going to a charity event tomorrow night. Oh well. Oh, it is oh, oh well. Tomorrow night? Let me let me straighten my size. I'm sorry, sir. I uh, I will be supporting the uh, Renton Historical Society. Um, and going to their, their charity event. Well, I, I'm a dues-paying no, member for 30 years. I can afford to take some time off. That's fine. Hey, I'm glad, I'm glad you're going to be there to represent um, the Rats crew. Tag team. Tag team. Um, I will um, be buying stuff. With, I can't afford to buy I stuff. Well, I can't afford to buy stuff either, so I hope they take credit cards. Well, I'm glad, we're, I'm glad this is the situation then. <laughs> Apparently, Mel's going to be at Mer uh, parent-teacher conferences tomorrow. The funny thing is, is it's yeah. seven o'clock yeah. at night. Oh yeah, it is. They go yeah. late. I had the best. Stephen Banger just came online. Teacher conference of my entire life last night or yesterday with my or yeah. sorry, Monday. Uh, Wait, was that yesterday? That was yesterday. My daughter's parent-teacher conference was outstanding. My her teacher is, is phenomenal. She cute? No, he gets it. <laughs> he is awesome. He he understands. Now, one of the one of the teachers at her school though is a former Seahawk or Sea oh. Gal. I mean, I, I just wanted later. to see Aaron sitting there. Da, 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 da. <laughs> teacher. Hey, you know that's really bad for the sound there. Really, this is bad. Whatever you're pegging that. Awful. Yeah. Thanks for the feedback. Sorry. Finally, yeah, we get some of the feedback we can trust. <laughs> Oh, anyway, okay. So we have our predictions for the. How, week. how do the mic sound? No, just kidding. <laughs> like Forty an hour in, we're like, how does how's the sound? Hey, how's the sound? <laughs> oh, oh, we sound like shit. Sound like shit. Um, sorry. do you have anything on music-wise you want to talk about? Um, I, well, I, hang on, Aaron. What are you listening to on the road? I have not listened to anything yet, to be quite honest with you. Nothing? Not, not one song? I have not, 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 not a thing. I have not had. I mean, in the car, Floyd I or Rick Roll, on, nothing. Uh, no, I just listened to nothing, guys. I oh. mean, it was snowing like crazy, so we had five to six inches of snow overnight here, and uh, it was the first snow they've had this year. And I haven't driven in this. The first six inches year. you've seen in a so long time, little... huh? Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that was out of nowhere. <laughs> I believe I saw five to six inches the other evening. In your mouth. <laughs> oh, now I know what the truck story is about. <laughs> You guys are the worst. <laughs> oh, look, it's Lee. Okay, okay, let's get this back to the music. All right, back to the music. <laughs> oh, you, you guys are the so worst. I have, I have what have you been listening to there, Slim? Slim? Uh, well, I've been in a duel. I bought two albums about a week uh, a week and a half ago or okay. two weeks ago uh, the 69 eyes and um, which we talked about last week and the birthday massacre both came out with albums and and it's they're two albums and I, when it's rare when two bands that I love come out with <laughs> albums at the same time and I've been ba on balance I'm just gonna say the 69 eyes album I love them but the birthday massacres album is just uh, is awesome it's so October it's what people should be listening to is the latest birthday massacre album for Halloween this type of this time of year, it's fantastic. And then uh, just last night uh, or a couple nights ago, I, there's a song that I downloaded. Someone did a cover of an obscure '80s one-hit wonder called "Ilia" by Donny Iris. If you don't know it, contact me. I'll make sure you hear it. Uh, someone, I, I, for some reason, I found out this cover was done in 2010, and it's pretty damn good. But uh, and the the, the 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 band's name is called like the the Dusty Hand of Death. I don't. Well, yeah, I want to nice. get. I want to see a review of that up tomorrow. Well, uh, maybe if you're the so, good boy in your truck. <laughs> <laughs> I know what we need to do. I just, I did, here. I thought of my really? music thing for us. So, so, so on our feet is going to cover Lady Gaga when she comes to the. That's, that's all on you. La, 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 that's all you got. La, la. Oh, that's you can awesome. get all up on that muff. Oh, muffin, muffin, muffin. 
No, I said all. Oh, I said I'm we not are. going to see Lee. Oh uh, well, how well, if it's all three of us, that'd be kind of fun. Dude, if I uh, can we get media? Yeah, can we we'll get talk, media this is for post show. Yeah, are we in post show officially? Uh, That's work. So I I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my music real quick. Yes. Um, so I've actually been listening to two things. Um, first one, both of them are not new. Um, one of them's uh, fairly new. Um, the Lumineers' new CD, which um, if you like the indie folk type scene, the Mumford and Sons or whatever, the Lumineers' CD is really good. Yeah. Is sounds... that better than Mumford and Sons' last newest? Yes, it's better than their okay, new one. Okay, that's um, good. Uh, so it's a three-piece band, really good. Go check it out. It's called it's the Lumineers' self-titled album. Yada yada. But you'll get a kick out of this one. I will. The CD that I've actually been listening to the most in the last five days um, is uh, Holy Diver. Oh yes. By my man, Holy Dio. Diver. But I've actually been listening to the I've been listening to really? the remastered version of Holy Diver. Oh, I don't Diver. have that yet. And um, I'll tell you what, I, I, it's it's bringing me back to 1983, 1982, like yes. nobody's business. I mean, I remember being in Moses Lake, Washington. Rainbow um, in the dark, baby. Rainbow in the dark. Holy, Holy Diver. Diver. I mean, Man, but the remastered version is just phenomenal. I if, love if, that album. So anyway, bringing up the whole, if you saw the show earlier, you'll notice that we said had pro cocks and prostates on the top of it. Ronnie James Dio died of prostate cancer um, about two and a half years ago in it's 2010. True. Um, we lost the guy that brought us this. We, we, lost, we lost one of our heavy metal greats due to prostate cancer. As we're coming up on November, um, this means a lot to me personally. Um, as someone who listens, me personally. listens to metal, um, if you if you give a shit about metal or anything else like this, send five dollars to somebody that's supporting Movember. Give to prostate cancer research. It's it's a disease that actually most men don't even realize they have, and then actually most men. I think I think the statistic I heard the other day was. By the time most men die, 80% of men have prostate cancer, and yeah, they don't even realize Just it. remember when I die that we play, we pled for you guys to save me a long time ago. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> so, but now let's know. So I will put up the link okay. by this weekend for our sonar feed. And I've got a head start. I know we'll I'm cheating. And remember, we all have to shave no. on the uh, way. No, I got a head start. Cause I'm, I just, no, no. It's going no. down. All the no, way down. Have to no, save we'll Wednesday. talk about Next it. Next Wednesday, you got to bring it all the way down. Halloween night, no. right after the kitties go to bed. Don't count. Don't Halloween count on night, it. We clear it out. Yeah. And we start. So on. anyway, so that's that's what I've been listening to this week. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we are right at uh, one hour, believe it or not. Um, we nail our time. Okay. So we? is there anybody who's in the chat room? And I don't even know who's in the chat room right now. Are there any questions? I mean, we can go back to Danicus' stuff here if we want. We um, got uh, Port, Port Scum Timbers, Danicus, and Mel's in there. What's sure, your question, question, sir? How are we going to break all this technology down with only two people instead of three? We don't know, but it'll happen. <laughs> anyway, any questions in the audience? We're going to go post game here in a second. Yeah, we're going to stop the recording for the actual show and go into post here. So uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and uh, uh, Aaron hang in there for me. We're gonna roll our. We're gonna classic ending. When does he get it? He doesn't. Why not? Because he broke the rules. What rules? We didn't see any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, sir. Wrong. Wrong, sir. Wrong. Wrong, sir. Wrong. Wrong, sir. Wrong. You lose. Memo, bis, punitor, delicata, etc. You're a swindler. Wrong, sir. 